field sampling and laboratory screening is helping the barley industry put a safety net between healthy varieties and one of the crop's most virulent fungal diseases. Net blotch, a fungus specific to barley, has in recent years become more virulent. So the Grains Research and Development Corporation has invested in a South Australian research project to collect net form net blotch field samples and test how well varieties are standing up to the fungus. Well, what we're specifically doing is collecting isolates from crops around South Australia, and in particular from national variety trials scattered around the state, where we think there might be something funny going on with the fungus, some change. Single spore isolates are taken from field samples and bred up here at Sardi's Adelaide Laboratories. They're sprayed onto healthy, clean adult plants and allowed to do their worst under controlled high humidity. Using adult plants rather than seedlings produces a result more representative of field conditions. So this one here, um, we can see that there's quite a fair bit of um, netting going on on these upper leaves. So we know it's fairly susceptible. Then we'll find uh, on a, something that's a bit more resistant. And here we go, see the, the leaves are basically clean. Netform gets its name from the cross-hatching appearance of the dark lesions on the leaves. You can see this is an early reaction on the upper leaves. So this, this will, can then become something like this, which is like on the older leaves. What the lab work is confirming is that net form net blotch is highly variable. Every single isolate can produce a different level of virulence across the 24 barley varieties in the test group. In most cases it's just a different combination of virulences we're seeing. Um, some isolates are also more aggressive, that is they can cause more disease even though the virulence may be the same. But because the fungus goes through sexual recombination on the stubble each year, these combinations of virulences and, and aggressiveness is continuously recombining. That's why we keep seeing these different patterns. By monitoring these changes, the team can determine if previously resistant varieties have become more susceptible. Netform net blotch has been around for years, but has been kept in check by resistant varieties. However, in 1993, the introduction of the variety Franklin to South Australia changed that. The Tasmanian variety was very susceptible. Netform net blotch took hold, mutated, and virulent strains began overcoming resistant varieties. Since starting its monitoring program just six years ago, the Sardi team has found many more varieties that have lost their resistance. Well, we first found virulence on the variety fleet uh, in the paddock at Angara in 2009, just a couple of hot spots. The next couple of years we didn't see very much at all, it wasn't obvious. In 2012 we found two paddocks on the northern York Peninsula that were really quite severely affected, it was really quite damaging. But then in 2013, almost every paddock on this side of the Spencer Gulf was severely impacted where, where fleet was grown. By bringing isolates of the disease into the controlled conditions of the lab, it's possible to identify weaknesses in varieties sooner than they'd appear in the paddock. Skipper, that's looking very good. Good out of two. Now, in all the variety trials around the state, Skipper appears to be completely resistant, very strong resistance. But we've got one isolate we identified from the Northern York Peninsula which shows that that variety is now vulnerable. It may still be resistant in farmers' fields for a few more years, two or three years perhaps, um, or it may break down within only one year. But we have that warning. We now know that that variety is at, at risk and it just needs one mutation and um, for that mutation to become widespread for the variety to become susceptible. That early warning is very useful to barley breeders giving them the opportunity to reassess any new lines bred from a parent variety whose resistance has weakened. It also gives growers an opportunity to switch varieties and avoid those whose resistance is breaking down. The more that farmers grow varieties that are susceptible the increased likelihood is that this fungus will keep evolving. At the moment they can control it fairly well with fungicide sprays, but they are expensive, particularly in the low rainfall areas where people may have to apply up to three sprays. That is a significant cost. There is also a threat that some of the fungicides may lose their effectiveness because we know the fungus can, over time, get some resistance 
to, to the fungicide. So in order to do that, we do need to decrease the area of varieties that are susceptible to net form net blotch. Growers are also advised to control the volunteer barley, the green bridge of self-sown barley grown on summer rain. It's specifically a problem where susceptible varieties such as fleet and maritime are grown. The information collected by this net blotch monitoring team is fed into the cereal variety disease guides and sowing guides, which are updated after each season. Growers are encouraged to consult these guides and national variety trial results when planning sowing strategies for the new season.